What's up, Anafanix? TechFang here from AndroidRoots.com. With me, we have the Samsung Galaxy S3 T-Mobile. And this uh, Frosty Jelly Beam will also support the AT&T Galaxy S3 as well. So today, we're going to be doing a RAM review with Frosty Jelly Beam. Very good, very stable, and pretty much stock. So if you're a new Android user who just came, who just installed Clockwork Mind Recovery, and wants to try uh, custom RAMs, this is a great transition RAM from a uh, stock RAM to a custom RAM because mainly everything is the same but you do get a little bit of tweaks and features that you can get a good feel of a custom RAM and then you can obviously go into a more advanced after you get a good feel of this type of custom RAM. So let's head down to settings, show you I'm on Jelly Bean 4.1. There you go, you got 4.1, Jelly Bean, all that good stuff. When you keep tapping that, you get a big Jelly Bean. Of course, and when you hold it down, you get these little jelly beans that you can play with. I actually have tried to get rid of all these off the screen, but they just I think it's pretty much impossible because they do they do keep coming back onto the screen. So it's very hard to do. <laughs> Try it out. I, I bet you can't get it. That's very hard to do. But anyway, let's just see some of the features of Jelly Bean. Like I told you earlier, this is pretty much stock. There's a little features, nothing that you can actually notice. But there are like speed tweaks and other uh, small features that you can just notice by using it, but nothing that's visually uh, you can see. So we'll just see some of the Jelly Bean features that's been offered in this. So let's take a look into no notifications. So obviously you still have the stack uh, 14 widget toggle. Obviously you do have a little better one because you have the option to turn on data right from here. So it's not the stack not 14 widget notification. It is one from uh, the XDA, one of the XDA developers. Um, another uh, difference you may have seen is you got a little uh, settings right here, so it's not it's usually down here, but they have moved it up to the top corner, so it's a nice little uh, movement, I guess you could say. And one other feature I did find that many other people I think missed is when you tap on this, you can have, uh, you can actually edit the your clock, so you can add a city, and uh, you can add it'll go straight to your clock app, so it'll save you a lot of time because you can just slide it down any app you're in, tap on the little clock, and you can add a clock or just check the time in another country so this is great if you travel a lot um, you can obviously check the time in other places very quickly um, another option let me actually zoom in um, is the jelly bean notification you obviously have the little clear button if you want to clear them all at the same time um, don't mind the Wi-Fi calling error it's just because my sim is outdated I have to go to the T-Mobile store to upgrade it but I'm too lazy <laughs> but anyway um, you get, as you can see you got three new messages now when you get a couple more messages like maybe four messages it'll give you a little preview of each email so you know what the email is talking about and you know um, what's in there. So if, you, if it's like a pointless email, maybe a per, uh, it's like a spam or anything, you, have to, you can obviously just uh, slide it away or just tap on the little clear. But if it's important, you know what it's uh, going to be talking about and you can obviously tap on it. So it saves you a lot of time instead of actually uh, tapping on it, opening the app and then seeing what the email is actually about. So it's a um, very nice, quick and easy feature to help you save a lot of time. So that's another nice feature, um, that's basically it for the notifications, let's actually look into the app drawer, as you can see it's an endless scrolling just like the stock ice cream sandwich, and then if you go to widgets, you have to tap tap on widgets, and then you can obviously um, go on to the widgets section. So like I said earlier, it's very stock, Nothing, not a lot I can show you, um, one of the major differences is um, it is very smooth and very nice to use. Um, there's like absolutely no lag at all, obviously because of part of... Project Butter and just because it's a Jelly Bean ROM or Jelly and it's leaked as well So I just want to let you guys know this is not the not, this is not based off the official um, Jelly Bean because um it has not been officially released by T-Mobile um, Samsung is actually done building it, but uh, T-Mobile has put all the bloatware and other garbage into their phone So that is why um, you have not received the over the air or even <clears throat> heard about the official Jelly Bean for your Samsung Galaxy S3 um, T-Mobile or AT&T right now. It's only been released on the international if you guys are wondering. But like I said earlier, it's very smooth, very clean. And this is a great transition ROM if you're coming from a beginner and going into the custom ROMs. This is a great one because it is it's, it gives you a little taste about custom ROMs, but it doesn't give you everything at all, at all at once. So you're not overwhelmed and wondering what, what each thing does. But obviously when you get more um, um, experience with custom ROMs, you can obviously um, go into AOKP and SideGen or Mod, but do not go in right away, you're going to get confused about what custom ROMs are. This is a great transition ROM, and it's Jelly Bean as well. How do you get any type of person get it? Very stable and very clean to use, smooth as butter. How do you guys get it? I hope you found this ROM review helpful. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't, um, for more, be, to be notified with more videos like these. ROM reviews, tutorials for Galaxy S3, Galaxy Nexus, and many other devices to be coming soon. And I already have other devices on my channel as well. 
And please don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up as well if you found this video helpful. Um, subscribing and give me a like button really does support me. And if you need help on this or any other type of video, you can contact me through Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and email me. All links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. Yeah.